Hello everyone! In today's video I would like to talk a bit about the latest addition to my collection. Having already a couple of trains but still some missing. One of them and I believe most beautiful was Emerald Night Train. Unfortunately I was not into go during the times it was available in stores and now it is pretty expensive. Check the Brickwing and now the price is about 250 till let's say 500 euros for the one or compared to the original price of the 90 euros it's a pretty nice gain. I have first time ever decided to try the Chinese clones to see how accurate they are. So let's jump to it. I ordered it online and the delivery time was over three months. So I already was not hoping it will arrive and the PayPal protection worked well. But lately it arrived, but the question is what arrived? Instead of any kind of protective box, it was just in the plastic bag which you use for really light shopping. Inside there were the little bags from which I think three were already torn and few pieces were out. Yeah, I was lucky for the plastic bag anyway. Also, there was a sticker sheet, but in the states you can see on the picture, and some of the stickers were already removed and mixed into the loose bricks. Also, the stickers quality is not so good as Lego ones, and plus, strong visibility of fingerprints when you are let's say, trying to put them on the bricks. Otherwise, the packaging is fine, contained instructions, cloth bags one specific bag with metallic pieces, magnets, metallic tubes for wheels and kind of nails to harden the train magnetic mechanism. One of the nails was deformed and due to that it was not possible to 100% put it inside the plastics so that piece of train is not 100% reliable. As you can see the instructions not sure if some of you have already built some Kobe models, but the instructions are more similar to Kobe than to Lego ones. Another funny thing is that in the instructions each plastic bag was numbered, but in reality they were not. So you are building the model in the old school Lego times, all bags open at once and all the pieces are together on one tile. I started the construction and it was progressing pretty well without any major difficulties. Also the bricks fit pretty well, not as good as Lego, but in most cases acceptable, at least for display purposes. The only gap was probably with the connection between the wheels and the top part of the wagon. It was pretty loose and if you raised the wagon, the wheels stay down. The rails provided set have different light grey color instead of dark grey of LEGO. And last and probably worst thing about this set are the minifigures. Pieces are painted slightly incorrectly, mainly woman's face is looking not so good. They are not fitting well and are loose. And the worst thing are legs. To push them together a bit, be able to put it onto the regular brick. Durability of the whole set I cannot compare, but at least for minifigures I expect it to be pretty low. Final summary. It is much cheaper than LEGO, 2 times original price and really many times compared to current LEGO set's value. Quality of the model except minifigures is acceptable for the money, but if you are LEGO purist or used to some LEGO standards with everything with it, like LEGO style instructions, nice box, numbered bags and normal mi minifigures, I won't recommend it, as you will notify the difference pretty easily. Do you also have experience with LEGO fakes? So please share your experience in the comments below and thank you for watching.